Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Pastor Aloysius Lukwago from Paradise Church International Ministries, where we are right now in Nansen, Uganda. Uh, this is where the Lord has blessed us. We are in the Kiso district in Uganda, in Africa. Uh, this is where we have been. This is where God has planted us. This is where we have been established for now. Uh, a couple of years since 2017, we've been here expanding the kingdom of God. Uh, this is our church premises where we come every Sunday to fellowship with everyone and uh, all to come on Sunday. Uh, um, as you see, we are a church that is planted in a, in a community of a Muslim stronghold. We are a church that is located in, 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 in one of the suburbs of Kampala, uh, what people call the slums. It is very densely populated. It's one of the most populous villages in the uh, nation of Uganda. Uh, 40,000 citizens. Yeah, we are, we are so grateful for the Lord that has been so gracious and has been merciful. By His mercy, we've been able to stand for the other to be here. Like, as you can all witness, uh, it, is a, it, is a, it is a populous, uh, populous area with many, uh, many children many people around. So uh, we've been here uh, doing a lot of activities, been empowering the young, empowering the preaching in the communities, uh, doing evangelism and many have come to the salvation of Jesus Christ. The neighbors are one of the biggest soaps in a buying bar, Kale Paradise Church called Chamwendo. Come on, favors. Come on, favors. Wait, Amanya is a surrender sheriff. Never the Paradise Church of Chiam, the Champion community. You could take Batoba and give and never take a win, sir. I tell a good dinner by the Gamba Paradise Church. Three years down the road, we've been established here. God has placed here. Uh, when we are accepted to be in this community, God enabled us to get land, which we are renting every year. And we, we will manage to, to begin with a temporary structure uh, because it is, it is illegal to put a permanent structure in the land that you don't own. So we are able to begin with a wooden structure, which was timber. And so, like you can see, we still have. That are in the archives, you can see the video. So, uh, we were affected by the floods, we affected by the rains, and so, since timber was was very well, 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 time to keep on being damaged, so we resorted to sheets, like you can see. We were able to purchase some sheets and put a structure that is now semi permanent and that it can take us for years without renovation. Yeah, as you can see, that is one of the first structures we began with uh, when we were beginning. We still have it in our records. Well, through the community partnership, we are able to establish the way you see us. This is the interior of the church. We are able to purchase different materials that help us in our uh, Sunday worship services. We're able to purchase uh, the piano, we have the speakers, we have uh, the guitars, the drums that have enhanced our work as we do the church service. Uh, though we've managed to acquire some materials, we've managed to construct a temporary structure. Uh, we've uh, been facing some, some challenges here and there, and one of it uh, in the stream you see just beside us, the it over rains, the floods. You can come and the whole land is full of water. Uh, recently we had a severe rainfall and um, almost everywhere we had the floods inside the church and people could hardly cross all over this land because of the rain. So that's why we, we are believing that as we are able to construct a permanent structure, we can be able to also align the uh, stream very well that uh, when the rain comes, we shall be able to have uh, the water lodging uh, inside in our perimeters. Uh, still, we, like as you see, the different children around, 
uh, some of her challenges of being school, so that's why we have a picture with in mind. But uh, as we have enough space, we can construct a children's school whereby many children can be able to acquire a cheap but uh, quality education that could enable them to, to uplift their lives. We believe as we're transforming the community, that the future. Uh, we, uh, education is one of the ways that we can secure the future of the young ones. So, as we give them education, we shall be able to to to, to be sure of their future uh, and, and success. Uh, for that reason, we come to you, everyone who's watching us, everyone seeing us all over the world, to stand with us, to partner with us, to partner with the community for this noble cause. Uh, we believe by your support, uh, we shall be able to accomplish all this. We have calculated and need 200,000 US dollars to accomplish all this project. May God bless you as you stand with us. In Jesus' name. Lord Jesus Christ, uh, children of God. I want to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Pastor Stephen Okecho Atiang, the interim senior pastor at Paradise Church International Ministries. Praise our Lord Jesus Christ. Today I want to bless the name of the Lord, the God who created the whole earth, the God who made the heavens. Today I praise his name because he has opened up the heavens for the Paradise Church. Right where I am standing, wherever you see behind me, this is actually the land, the new land, the promised land, the Kandani land of Paradise Church International Ministry. Praise the Lord. This is a place of prophecy and we have just come to pick it up. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. We are holding it because we want to possess. Praise the Lord. The land is so fertile. Praise the Lord. And what you see here, uh, you see potato plantation, potato, sweet potatoes. Praise the Lord. This is the land that, uh, uh, which, this is the land that has been on our future. We want to possess it. But so far, we want to appreciate the Lord for God's provision, for those that have stood financially with the ministry. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. We have actually done the deposit of this land. And, and, and this land is now holding the name of the church, Paradise Church. Glory to God. But we still want to ask you to stretch your hand forth and stand together with us and complete the balances of this land. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And, uh, and uh, uh, 5,000 5, US dollars will, will be enough to complete uh, to complete the balance, praise our God. The land, the land is, is enough for the ministry. Uh, the land is a uh, has a measurement length of uh, uh, of one, 100, 100 by 50, 100 by 50. Praise our Lord Jesus Christ. And there is still enough. There is still an opportunity for an expansion. We can still expand. Praise our Lord Jesus. We can still expand. Glory to God. We want to pray that the God who has used you to stand with the ministry of Paradise Church may continue to bless you. I know one thing, God has already blessed you and that's why you are becoming a blessing in the works of God. But it is my prayer that may God increase your blessings, may God expand your territory, may God satisfy you, 
May God do you good such that you shall testify of his goodness. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I know one thing. When God tickles you, you shall laugh. The Lord is tickling us. And that's why you see my face is full of joy. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to appreciate God so much for the servants of God, my fellow co-workers in the kingdom, Pastor Esther and Pastor Priscilla, and all the, all the pastors of Paradise Church, Pastor Debbie, Pastor Irene, and the rest of the ministers. Thank you for standing on faith. Thank you for the work of faith. Thank you for the faithfulness. Thank you for standing together, building the kingdom of God. Praise our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to say this. May the Lord bless you so much. May the Lord do you good. May you live to see the goodness of the Lord. And you shall testify. May God bless you. And thank you. God bless you. Shalom.